Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna do a small video to show you how to boost your FPS in Fortnite Season 10. So first of all, we want to make sure that uh, you have your Windows 10 properly optimized. So right game mode, open it. Make sure that your game mode is at off, really important, or you will lose FPS. And for the game bar, make sure it's at off too. The other thing that you want to use, it's the standby list leader. Uh, for the cup like for the past eight months uh, Windows struggled to clean your standby list um, And if you have less than 16 gig of RAM, you definitely should use this software. It's pretty easy to use It's uh, low resources uh, You don't need a good computer to run that it will automatically purge your uh, standby list uh, When you don't have free memory uh, so you can set the, the minimum size etc so it's a pretty uh pretty nice software without any bloat this is the guy who did the uh, ddu the software that uh, a lot of people is using to uninstall driver on a computer so uh yeah that's pretty good i will put the link to download it on my video description and uh, you should definitely use it one more thing before opening the game uh in the settings fortnite you want to add an additional command line argument so right, use Olivable Core, no splash, and no texture streaming to optimize your FPS and make sure that you're using all the available core on your CPU. Really important thing, um, I will put this uh, in my video description. So just copy paste it, don't write it uh, and, uh, when looking the video and uh, it will work properly. So now we will go inside of the game and we will uh, close it with the config file. So now the graphic parameter, uh, window mode, really important, play this game in full screen, you will lose 2-3% to if you're using window mode or borderless, so really important. But the display resolution, just use normally what you're using inside of the game. Uh, if you're still struggling to get your 60 lower, your 1080p to something like 720p. Frame rate limit, for me I always play unlimited, but you can lock it with the refresh rate of your monitor. So if you have a 60Hz monitor, you can put 60. If you have 144Hz, you can put 144fps. For the 3D resolution, uh, I always play at 100%. You can lower this if you want. This is last resort after all the stuff that we'll show you. Make sure that uh, you don't touch it. This is last resort. So for example, everything is at low. You're still getting 40 FPS. You can lower it this a little bit. Don't go under 90. You will see that you will th the game will go blurry and you will see some pixels and stuff like that. So this is last resort. View distance, you should definitely play at medium. Uh, you will gain 4% for each uh, bracket of, uh, of a boost for your FPS. But view distance is really important on the battle royale. So near, I feel like you don't see too much in front of you. So I always play at medium. Shadow, really important, remove this in this game, you will gain a nice 15% of increase for your FPS, so really important. Same thing with anti-aliasing, you will gain another 10% for your increase, uh, so really important to put those one at off. Texture, I'm using Epic because I have 8 gig of VRAM, it really depends on your VRAM on your video card, your GPU. So 8 gig, 4 gig and more Epic, 3 gig high, 2 gig medium, less than 2 gig, use low. Effect, I'm using medium. I don't go too crazy with the effects. Uh, you will not necessarily see an increase in your FPS when you're just running in the map. It's more like when you're fighting. So if you feel that your uh, FPS are dropping when you're fighting, lower your effects. Post-processing, I'm playing at medium. I, uh, I see a big difference between low and medium and for not a lot of FPS, it's like one person. So put this one at medium, but after that, when you go at high and epic, you will lose more FPS. So medium is a sweet spot. V-Sync at off, really important. Motion blur, uh, you don't want to use that in those kind of games, so off. Show FPS, if you want to see your FPS, you can enable it. In my case, I don't use it because as you can see top left on my screen, I'm using MSI Afterburner. And the last one, I'm receiving a lot of questions about it. Hello, Halo, sorry, <laughs> multi-thread rendering. So if you have more than six score on your computer, put this one at on. If you don't, if you have less, put this one at off. So if you have like a computer with four cores, eight threads, off, put this one at off. If you have six core, 12, uh, 12 threads, eight core, uh, 16 threads, stuff like that, put this one at on. So to know, uh, you can see it in the control aisle delete, you will see how many cores you have. Or you can go Google your processor on the Intel website, you will see 
how much cores and thread you have and same thing for amd so that's about it now let's go to the config file so now for the config file you need to go to your c drive users name of your computer app data make sure that you're showing your hidden file on your windows uh, to see the app data local fortnite game safe config and windows client after that make sure that you open the game user setting you can double click on it and use the notepad but me i'm going to use notepad plus plus because uh, it's it's a be it's a better view when you see stuff you you see i have some red thing and yeah it's better <laughs> so uh first thing that you need to do show grass put this one at false really important and after that scroll down the foliage quality put this one at zero you will see that uh, it's by default at two and save close this right click on it properties click on read only press ok so you make sure that you're locking your file because you don't want the game to override your current uh, setting that you just changed because those settings are not inside of the game option so uh if i don't know they release a patch and stuff like that you will probably lose all your settings so make sure that you're using read only so that's about it guys for the video if you have any questions just come in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can don't forget to subscribe to my channel and drop me also a follow on my mixer account it's mixer.com slash thank you very much guys peace